Hello everyone, so in this video I am going to show you how to download and install OpenBoard Whiteboard. Before going to this video, I will, ju I will just give a short note on what is it. So OpenBoard is a free software, so it's basically used for drawing, okay, drawing purposes and be used for online teaching. So I think many of them are teaching now using online. So this will be a great tool for uh, explaining as explaining. So if you are do if you are going on a presentation, you can't just use your uh, draw tool or pen tool over the slides, so it may look shabby. And you can side by side open this drawing tool and explain it clearly. So that's the main purpose of it. I think. So and 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 it can also use be for use for digital artists. And uh, so that's the main purpose of it. So it's completely free. That's the main thing of it. So first I will show you. So just go and Google and type open board whiteboard. So you can see it's a completely free and open source software. Cross cross platform also. So you can run for Linux or Windows etc. So for just click the first link open window.ch. Okay. So after you will go to their official website and you can go to it blah 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 something is, uh, okay so it's open source universal simple so okay so now what we need to do is just go for download okay and depending upon your OS you can download as most of the teaching staffs would be having Mac or Windows developers will be having Ubuntu so you need to choose between these two okay so I will go for Windows as many as Windows so it's Windows 7 plus okay. I don't think when uh, Windows 7 Plus means Windows 7 users can't download it. So I don't know whether it works in Windows 7, but it definitely works in Windows 8 and 10. I'm sure of it. So it's about 53 MB in size, not too big. You can download even by using your hotspot. So okay. so also they have their official documentation over here. Okay, they have their guide. Everything is there as in the PDF format. So if you have any doubts or know how to use the tutorials, it's there. Once round is over, just go to the download file and just click open. Okay. okay so just select the language of English or anything you want and specify the location. I would like to give the default open board. Okay. I would like to create a soft desktop. Okay. Things so are just common. Just click install. It's a pretty straightforward installation process. Okay. So once that setup process is complete, just check this option. Just click finish for the show. We need to do to check whether it's working perfectly or not. Okay. You can see the icon. Just just click it. So here it is. So this is the complete. Okay. So whiteboard software. So here you can see here we can set the required line, color, eraser size. Okay. Thickness. Everything you can even specify the background. So show desktop means so you can also do right on desktop. Okay. So here. So that's pretty good. I would say. So just click there, you can just come back. So it's web, everything is there. And stylus, just click it. You get a bunch of options of stylus, sketch pens, very uh, pencil, okay. And even import documents, okay. So you can import documents, web, everything you can do it. So it's everything is available for free. Okay, let me just show you a demo and write anything really smooth, okay. So if you're using lap, I would recommend you to use a mouse, okay. So it's really smooth, better handling. And another good thing about this is that you don't need to have a very powerful machine, very high processor RAM to work on this white open board. So if you're having a simple computer, very simple specifications, you can still use this software 100% while teaching online class, especially I'm saying it's the best tool available for teaching. Okay, I would also recommend that. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. And mine is a programming channel. Also check my other videos and stuff. Thank you.